So, it's time to do our uh, next eBay break, which is 2018 Donruss Football. Four boxes out of a case, number two. There is the title on the screen. Yeet. All righty. Let's open this up. I'm debating on whether to just open all the packs at once or should I just go box by box? Well, Juventus, it, dude, it doesn't come out until Friday, so I haven't actually seen it in, you know, in person. But like the mock-ups and stuff like that that you can find on the internet, on the sell sheets, it's it's nice looking stuff. Comes out on Wednesday. DJ and Tino, how are you? How's everything with you, DJ? Hope all is well. When is Monday Night Football? Like eight o'clock or something? I got a I got a bold prediction. Broncos win tonight. What's up? Oh, they play the Chiefs. You know what I'm saying? At eight twenty, they play. That's my that's my bold prediction for today. The Broncos win. Should be a good one though. If it's like Sunday night's uh, game last night, that was pretty that was pretty fire. Well, Marcus Goodman, I mean, check the check the checklist, bro. For all I know, they probably have Montana autographs. Maybe they got Jay Rice autos? Dude, I don't know. Face card says Broncos take a L tonight. I'm about to take a L myself. But a different kind of L if you catch my drift. You finally won a game in our league? Welcome to the big boy table, Fitz. That puts you at what, one and three or something? Your boy, your boy is three and one. Oh yeah. All right. What do we have here? Got a Tony Gonzalez to one twenty-five patch for the Chiefs. When does uh when does when do the baseball playoffs start? Cameron break the seventy five die cut for the Bucks. You beat Jason. Oh, that was you, Fitz. I was wondering. I was like, damn. Jason has been getting whooped as of late. Poor Jason. Jason's. Uh, I don't think Jason's won a single game in fantasy football yet.
Carlton Davis to 36 for the Bucks. Garrett Blount, the press proof for the Lions. Jaleel Scott, the Ravens rookie autograph to four ninety nine. Dalton Schultz press proof for the Cowboys. Sipe, I have no idea, brother. That is, if anything, I would I would reach out to them on Twitter, my man. But I, I dude, I have no idea on, on what's going on over there. They're, they're, you know, they're in California. We're in Florida. We don't really uh, stay in contact that often, Sipe. So if I, if I were you, man, my suggestion would be reach out to them on Twitter. You know, maybe at them or something like that. Shoot them a DM. And I'm sure they'll get back to you. Joe is pretty awesome as far as uh, customer service and things like that. Getting, getting back to people on the social media. Jeremy Kramer, 100 Packers. So this week is wild card games. And on Saturday, the playoffs start. Because I actually watch playoff baseball. I'm not really interested in watching the entire season. Especially when your team sucks like the, like the Marlins do. It might be on... Uh, maybe It might be on Cardboard Connection, Marcus. I'm not sure. Jordan Howard, the 276 for the Bears. He has been a, a disappointment for me so far. Jordan Howard has been a big disappointment so far to, to my fantasy football team. But the Bears are getting, you know, they're successful, so I don't know what, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. It's not even on there, Marcus? Huh, interesting. Leonard Floyd to 94 Bears. DJ Moore. Later, dude. Well, I will say this, Marcus. Uh, if anything, if we do decide to like change prices, which we do sometimes, when they come out, when a checklist finally comes out, and we, you know, we lower teams, and some teams we actually, you know, go higher. But whatever. If if we do end up messing with one of your teams that you buy, we'll just, dude, we'll give you a gift card for like the difference. So. There's that. Jamal Adams of the Jets press proof. Watch the wild card game Wednesday. A's versus Yankees. Ooh. It will be well worth it, says face cards. I'm dude, I'm down. Especially me, dude. I, I, I need to learn baseball. Like it's it is imperative, word of the day. It is imperative that I learn baseball. They do have a Jerry Rice auto. Oh. Well, that's that's there you go, Marcus. Look at I didn't even let it even I didn't even look the checklist up or even bother to look it up yet. Because you know, they usually don't post it till like a day bef the day before the product releases. Uh, I'll probably be up later tonight. But yeah, something told me Jerry Rice would be out there. I wonder if there's there's probably Marino autographs then to the Dolphins maybe. That'd be sick if somebody wanted to give me you know a little gift.
They got Barry Sander autos? Nice. Real nice. A. E. Ron Rogers. Uh oh. Illusion's looking like a dream right now with all those big names you throwing at me, Marcus. Oh, of course, Chris Fitz, of course. But as long as they're there, you know, I have, I have a, it'd be like, hey, dude, you know, such and such are there. Dude, I'm, I'm telling you, Marcus, they, they look nice on the internet, like as far as the, the mock-ups are concerned. But we'll find out on Wednesday. Like last year's set was was decent. I I I thought it was nice. They do have sticker autos. There's that. And if I'm not mistaken, illusions is that one that comes with uh with a guaranteed like encased hit per box I think these dominators are cool looking cards I hit an autograph yesterday of Russell Wilson dominator that was pretty sweet do Justin press proof for the Broncos Kareem Hunt to 150, patch for the Chiefs. Brian Aragbo, press proof for the Titans. Oh, the Dolphins got their ass whooped last night. Man, that was... Well, yesterday, I should say. Joe Thomas, the 75 for the Browns. I seen it coming. I seen it coming. It's still, you know, nice. Not nice to see. What's up, Michael? How are you? See, I feel like the Jets are more competitive than the Dolphins, bro. Like, when the Dolphins just don't feel like playing, they just pack it in, you know, and they don't bother. But at least the Jets put an effort day in, day out. Like, regardless. Brandon Marshall to 54 Broncos. At least that's how I feel. I feel like when the Dolphins, like, just don't care, like, they just pack it in and... Pfft. Well, that's going to be a big-time one. Sony Michelle to 49 for the Patriots. The Matthew Berry's Fantasy Life. Very nice. Oh, the Jags beat y'all 31 to 12. Let's well, see, at least y'all put up 12 points and allowed, you know, se seven points less. So there's that. Where did you guys play on the road or at home? That's another one. That's not good, Michael. I hope you find her quick. Or you know what you could do? Just put, like, cook something and, like, leave your door open and your dog will come back eventually. 
Oh, you played in Jacksonville? Okay, so then, you know, whatever. It is what it is, Chris. Aren't you, aren't they, uh, aren't the Jets tied with the Patriots for uh, second place in the division? Marcus Mariota, 400 Titans. Heinz Ward to 100 Steelers. Well, I mean, the, the, the season's not over yet. The season's not over yet. I mean, don't, you know, you don't have to do, you have to give me $10. Just spend $10 in the store. Aqueous test for Jason Taylor of the, of the Dolphins. Wow, Michael, I just read your comment. That's pretty funny. I had my dog run away once. She's scared of fireworks. And it was like 4th of July or Christmas or one of them days where people decide to pop uh, fireworks. And she ran away. She was gone for like two days. No, I lied. She was gone for the night. And like she came like it was like it was late as hell. It must have been like 5 in the morning or something. But like I heard like I couldn't sleep. But I heard like a scratch at the door. Sure enough, it was her. Michael Gallup to 99 for the Cowboys. Dogs are awesome animals, man. They really are. Imagine if you could train, like, a lion to do something like that. That would be baller. Could you imagine having a lion as a pet? Mike Tyson had tigers. Well, Chris, just spend an extra ten dollars in the store. That's it, all right? That's all. That's all. And we'll be good. Cause if you want, I would. I was gonna send you ten dollar break credit. So boom, there it is. There you go. If that makes you feel any better. You know what can I say, Marcus? People. Listen, man, people, people strike quickly, dude. The early bird gets the worm. I think that's what they say, right? There you go, Marcus. By the way, uh, I sent you a little something, something, Marcus. I sent you a little something something. It'll it'll go out tomorrow morning. Chris Fitz, I sent you a little something something too. Call it a uh, late birthday slash rest in peace for the marriage situation. So Chris Fitz, where, where, where are, you, are you guys going on, on a honeymoon or what? Ah, oh, Marcus, tell me something I don't already know. Where, where's the honeymoon at, Chris Fitz? 
Not right now. Oh. <laughs> What the hell? Aren't you supposed to take your honeymoon like right after your 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 marriage or whatever? Oh, okay. Never mind, Christmas. I for I forget that you on that grown man biz right there. And and I am but a child, even though we're the same age. You're like ten years older than me. I can't wait to be like you when I grow up, Chris Fitz, minus the marriage. I don't believe in marriage. But I do pray to Odinson that yours is everything you ever dreamed of and much more, my man. Maybe Cancun or St. Thomas? I was going to say, man, dude, like, if I ever get married, I would want my honeymoon to be like a like a week or two long. And, you know, we go to like Fiji or something like that. Like, you know what I mean? On the other side of the globe. But then I remember, you need money to do that. I don't have that. Not yet, anyway. Working on it. All right, let's see what's uh, working out of this box here. Got Mr. Erlacher to 100 for the Dub Bears. Bears looking... Pretty good this year. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I just wish they would run the ball more with Jordan Howard. Because he's on my fantasy football team. Le'Veon Bell. Steelers press proof. Zach Ertz to 50 for the Eagles. They're looking real good, the Bears, man. That defense is looking real nasty. Khalil Mack making a huge difference. And John Gruden missing a pass rush. <laughs> I can't believe he actually said that. Yeah, you know, we, we need we need you know we need a pass rush. Dog, you you oh god. Oh, I forget. Chloe Kim got a random her because she doesn't actually have a team. As you see, she just got the NFL shield on there, but she doesn't actually have a team, so we will random her. That is the case hit. No, it's not, but, you know, I like to say that it is. Marcus Mariota to 100 Titans. Plus, she's a cutie, you know. If the wife ever gives you any any crap, you can just look over to Chloe Kim, look at her cute little smile, and just know that everything's going to be all right. I mean, look, look at that smile. Well, I forgot about my troubles already. All right, keep it going. Earl Thomas to 88 Seahawks. We got A.A. Ron Gordon there. And I can't wait for Illusions to come out. All the names I've seen in the chat. Got a patch for Fred Taylor to 125 for the Jaguars. I like those old school Jaguar uniforms. They should have kept those around. Ooh, nice one for the Bucks coming up here. Well, let's see what's in the rest of this. DJ Moore, Panthers press proof. Alright, 
the autograph with a patch. Three colors on that patch. Number four of ten, OG Howard. Bucks. Jersey King Auto. Very nice looking card. Very nice. Tell us how you really feel, Marcus. Jordy Nelson to 82. Goes to the Raiders. All right. Even though he's in his Packer uniform, does go to the Raiders. All right. And now for the last box. Who openly... When did Khalil Mack say explicitly and on camera and for the record that he did not want to play for the Raiders? Did he actually come out and say that? I mean, regardless, it, it's not like the Raiders could have signed Khalil Mack unless they made a trade or, or something. They, they could not afford him. You know, they, they just could not afford him. They didn't have the money to pay him. Well, Marcus, I mean, if, if what you say is true, then they made the right choice, I guess. I don't know, though, Marcus. I got to call you out on this one, dog. I don't think Khalil Mack ever came out and said that he wanted to get traded or did not want to play for the Raiders. I, I don't know. Where you got that one, but I asked that you give me evidence if it's not on video it never happened All right, I, I Need I need to see it coming from the man's mouth. I Want to be traded or I don't want to play for the Raiders. I Need I need to hear that come out of that man's mouth Le'Veon Bell is very smart for, for holding out, dude. Not, not for nothing, man. But, Marcus, I'll put it to you like this, bro. Let's say you sign a contract, right? You sign your contract, and in your contract you have specific... Like, let's say you have performance benchmarks that you got to reach. Not only do you reach those benchmarks... But you outperform your contract year in, year out. But your company still wants to pay you minimum wage. Or or an average wage when you're far from an average, you know, employee. How would you feel? If you had the opportunity to say, hey, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go to work for X amount of time. Yeah, I'll take a hit. But it's going to get me out of this contract. And I'm going to be able to sign with whoever I want. And I know that and I, and I know that people are going to want to sign me. Because I'm just that damn good. I'm going to sit out, bro. Straight up. Earl Thomas? I don't know why he came back. Look at him now. Broke his leg. Gone. He, he, he might not play football ever again. Broke the same leg twice. I think he'll. I think he'll be fine to play football. I mean, I'm exaggerating here, but I'm just saying. Like you know, in that sense, you know, who's gonna look out for the player then? No, yeah, agreed. Marcus agreed. You know, if you don't want to pay your player, then then trade him. 
trade them, get some kind of value for them. You, you can't just let them walk away, which is why the which is why they're trying to trade Le'Veon Bell now. They were shopping Earl Thomas, but I'm assuming the Cowboys were asking too much for him. Now that's now now Earl Thomas is that that's out the window now. So, but yeah, I mean, as far as Khalil Mack is concerned, I, I don't know, man. I feel like I feel like he like he wanted to stay there. I don't know, man. That's nobody really knows unless you're in that organization. You know what I mean? We can, we can all speculate until we're blue in the face. But nobody really knows what happens, but you know, behind those closed doors. Aqueous test, Chris Thompson, Redskins. Yeah, dude, they you know, football needs guaranteed money, dude. Like they need to negotiate those contracts better. Like I don't understand how a multi billion dollar company has all these issues. You don't hear about this with the you don't hear about it with the NBA. You don't hear about it, you know, with the MLB. It's I don't know it's 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 something that needs to ch that, that needs to be addressed. So 150 juju for the Steelers, but you know as long as the bill you know the billionaire uh, owners continue to run it the way they have been, nothing's going to change. Tom Brady to 100 Patriots. This is true. You know more and more uh, contracts now have you know m bigger guaranteed money attached to them. Which is which is great for the players because you know that's that's really what they're looking for, especially playing football, man. When, when you never know, you suffer a, a very severe injury playing that sport, man. Joey Bowles at a ninety-nine Chargers, you know. And I always I always thought that they should have like a like a benefit program for their retired players. You know, I really think that the NFL should uh, should pony up and and, and give them all benefits as far as health insurance and things like that man I don't know why the NFL is 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 lagging lagging behind doing that because I dude the moment they decide to give benefits to retired players or injured players or whatever dude that's going to be such a good look for the NFL they're gonna get more investors. They're gonna get more more sponsorships. They're gonna. They just. It just makes more. It just makes sense. Like, but whatever. Alshon Jeffrey, one of one for the Eagles. That is nice. It's like you know. It's like in any. It's like in any profession. If you're a professional, yeah. You know, there, there's certain things that come with being a professional. Just like Alshon Jeffrey, one of one. That is a nice card. Do they though run? I, I thought they did not receive like benefit, or or if they do receive benefits, it's not nearly enough to cover the expenses. Now, now that gets into another debate, which we can talk about till we're blue in the face, as far as you know, how are these players spending their money, you know, investments and so on and so forth. You know, that that's a whole another discussion there. You know what I was thinking? I, I was thinking, why don't they? Why don't why don't why don't NFL players do like NBA players are doing nowadays, and just sign like one or two year contracts? CJ Mosley press proof for the Ravens. You know what I mean? Like sign a year or two, like like a one, two, three year contract for X amount of money. You know, it gives you and the organization uh, flexibility. I don't know. As a player, that would be something I'd, I would be interested in. Blake Bortles of the Jags press proof. You know what I mean? Because like. Let's say let's say I sign my my rookie contract for 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 three years, and in those three years I make the Pro Bowl twice or whatever, lead the you know league in rushing and or whatever my position is. You know what I mean? I outperform my rookie contract. Once that third year rolls around, you know it's time to re-sign your boy. 
I don't think you can franchise tag me. Time to pony up. Rashad Penny to 100 Seahawks. But NFL contracts are weird. I don't know how that works. I really don't. Ryan Tannehill to 93 Dolphins. Nice to see him playing like, like good old Ryan Tannehill. Like crap. Dante Pettis to 499 Niners. Boom, autograph right there. Yeah, players definitely gotta do a better job of taking care of their money. But I didn't I didn't know they got a pension. I thought the NFL, the NFLPA, the Players Association, was still fighting to get that for the players. But anyways, that's it for the break. All right, there's one thing I need to random, and that's Miss Chloe Kim, little cute self. She doesn't belong to a team, so let's get her one. Roll the die. I'm gonna go 11 times in the random. Let's go ahead and pull up the randomizer. There it is on your screen. All right, I need to grab the teams, do the old copy paste. There it is, copy paste. Going 11 times, top team gets the Chloe Kim insert, here we go. I like to call her the case hit. She's not a case hit, but you know. I like to, I like to mess around. Nine, ten, and the money shot eleven. Boom, eleven times. Top team, the Bengals. Congratulations, Chloe Kim. You are now Bengal. You are now a Bengal. All right, recap time, shall we, kids? So again, this Chloe Kim is going to the Bengals. Just random it. Our patches we have Juju 150 Steelers, Fred Taylor 125 Jaguars, Kareem Hunt 150 Chiefs, Tony Gonzalez 125 Chiefs. Autographs we got Dante Pettis of the Niners 499, OJ Howard Bucks 4 of 10, Jaleel Scott Ravens 499. And a Sonny Michelle to 49 for the Patriots. Very nice. We did get a 101 as well. Alshon Jeffrey. 101 die cut for the Eagles. Very nice. And that's going to do it for the break. Thank you very much. We'll get that out to you, eBay.